Hey guys, Crypto Dad here again, and today I'm going to show you how to manage two copies of Ledger Live on one computer. So let's get started. All right, so a lot of people ask me this question about managing two separate copies of Ledger Live on one computer. This would be in a situation where you only have one computer in the household and you've got a roommate, a sibling, or a spouse, or a child, or a parent that wants to manage their crypto, has their own device, and wants to have their own copy of Ledger Live, but you only have one computer. There is a way to do this. Now, before I jump into that, I'd like to mention that there are other ways of sharing devices and managing crypto using one copy of Ledger Live. Uh, first of all, if you only have one device, you can create multiple wallets based on that device. As you can see, I have a lot of different Bitcoin accounts here, and most of them are associated with one device. So if you're one person and you want to kind of compartmentalize and manage multiple Bitcoin wallets on one device, you can do that. Or if you're two people and you only have one device and you trust each other and you would like to keep your crypto account separate from each other, you can do that using one device simply by creating different accounts. Now, uh, all you have to do to create a new account is go up here and hit add account and then choose the crypto that you would like to manage. Like for example, if you want to create a second Ethereum account or third, uh, you just click add account. You'll, it's going to ask you to connect your device, enter your PIN, and then open the appropriate app. In this case, it's asking me to open the Ethereum app. All right, and uh, once it's scanned your device, it's going to show you the accounts that are already being managed in Ledger Live, uh, and, this, and then show you some act, accounts that exist on the device but are not being managed in Ledger Live and uh, offer you the option of adding a new empty account. Notice in my case that I've already added an empty account here, Ethereum 5, and it's not going to let me add a new empty account until I've had at least one transaction in that empty wallet. So keep that in mind. You can't just create a whole bunch of empty accounts at the same time. So that is a way to create separate wallets based on the same device so you can keep your crypto separate if you trust each other, this would be more for family members. But what if the two people ha each have their own device and want to keep their crypto secure from the other, right? So in that case, each person has their own device, each person has their own PIN, and the other person doesn't know that PIN, So uh, and you want to manage your uh, devices that way. Well, you can do that within one copy of Ledger Live as well. You remember when we chose add account, it wanted us to connect the device, right? And the reason it wants you to connect the device is that each account is matched to a device. So if you want to manage a secondary device such as this, you'll simply disconnect the old device and attach the new device when you're adding the account. And this way, the new account is matched to the new device. And this is a way for two people with each having their own device to manage their crypto separately. Each account is matched to a device. So in the case of these two Bitcoin accounts, they're matched to my Ledger Nano S Plus, right? So when I want to manage the crypto in these accounts, I need to make sure that I have the right device attached. Ledger Live will let you know if you have the wrong device attached when you try to manage crypto. But it's always a good idea to name the account accordingly. So you can edit the name of the account up here. And that's an easy way for two people to have each have their own device and manage their crypto separately. The only drawback to this setup is perhaps that other person uh, doesn't want to try and figure out which account belongs to him. Even if it's named accordingly, it may be a little confusing if you see everyone, the other person's account. And also, even though you have no access to the other person's account or they to yours, you will be able to see each other's balance in Ledger Live, right? And your transaction history. 
that might not be ideal for that situation, say a, a, a roommate or even a sibling, right? It may be fine if, you know, your dad can see your balance and you can see your dad's balance or your spouse can see your balance and uh, you can see your spouse's balance. But maybe in the case of siblings or roommates, you want to be able to manage your crypto completely separately, have your own copy of Ledger Live, your own device, and have the other person not be able to access your copy of Ledger Live but you're still stuck with one computer in this situation and you want to be able to manage your crypto separately. Well, unfortunately, Ledger Live does not have that capability. It would really be cool if Ledger Live had profiles and you were able to manage multiple profiles, like when you launched Ledger Live, uh, it took you to a screen where you, know, you had Dan's profile, uh, Ted's profile, Alice's profile, and then you could simply log into each. Each person could have their own password and uh, protect their copy of Ledger Live from anyone else, right? Unfortunately, Ledger Live does not have that functionality, but you can do kind of a workaround using Windows. So if you go into your Windows settings, you can create a new account on the same computer, and once you have created this other account and logged into that account, you can uh, install a copy of Ledger Live separately. Let me give you a quick walkthrough of that. Uh, you'll want to go down, you'll want to go to the account section in your settings, go to other users, and then click add account in Windows. And then that secondary person, be it your roommate or your sibling, can enter their email. And now you've added that other person's access to this computer. So basically what happens when, uh, you're, when you click on the Start menu, you can uh, click on the uh, Active Profile here and see that you can switch to the other person's profile. Now, once you've added that second person's email address in your, on your computer as a separate account, if this person... Uh, does not have a Microsoft account associated with this email, they're going to need to get that done because as soon as you switch over to that uh, Microsoft account, it's going to ask them to log in. You'll just head over to uh, account.microsoft.com. I'll put a link to this down in the description below. And uh, as I mentioned, if the uh, other person does not have a Microsoft account associated with that email, you want to go down here to create an account, right? If you've never created a Windows account associated with your email, then you need to do this if you're going to have a separate sign-in on this computer. All right, you'll put in that secondary email. All righty, create a password for your account. Uh, you'll need to give them your uh, birthday. It's going to send you an email to that account. All right, so you'll check that email. You'll grab that code. Go back over to the Microsoft sign-in, uh, paste in that code. You can untick this if you want. Okay, once you've made it past those CAPTCHA tests, you should be able to get yourself signed in to your Microsoft account just to confirm that you've got everything set up properly. All right, so, you know, verify your email, verify that you've got a Microsoft account set up. So now that you've got a Microsoft account set up and a password, you should be able to click on the Start menu, click the Active Profile, and then switch over to that secondary account. So once you've managed to create that secondary account on your computer and managed to get signed into it, uh, which is uh, a little bit of a chore, uh, now you're basically on, uh, it's like you're on a new computer, right? You'll notice here that, uh, you know, we've still got uh, the other account uh, but you've managed to switch accounts now. So this new account is like a brand new copy of Windows. Now, some of the software that you may have installed on the main machine may already be auto-installed for you, like Chrome and Brave are, but uh, you won't have Ledger Live on this uh, in this Windows account. So you'll need to do that. Make sure you're at ledger.com slash ledger dash live. Go ahead and download it. All right, once you've got it downloaded, go ahead and double click the installer and get that going. Uh, you may need to enter the PIN of the main user of the computer. Now that we've got Ledger Live installed on the other account, 
go ahead and launch it, and there you go. Now you've got your own separate copy of Ledger Live. Uh, basically, if you already have your device set up with a backup phrase, all you really need to do is uh, click Get Started, choose your device, and just say you've already got the device set up, right? Just go to Connect Your Device, right? It's going to do a genuine check on that device. Roommate will, uh, or sibling will uh, connect the device. Make sure that uh, the pin is entered. All right, and once you pass the genuine check, you'll be at this screen here. Now, all you really need to do now is uh, connect your device and start adding accounts, right? You may have the device already set up, you know, like, or you know, you were sharing the other computer before and you had some wallets. Make sure you delete those wallets in the old copy of Ledger Live right? You'll want to just make sure that all of your uh, assets are only managed in your copy of Ledger Live. And don't worry about deleting the accounts in the old copy of Ledger Live. Uh, they're all still on the device, right? So all you have to do is click Add Account, choose whatever crypto you are managing, click Continue, make sure the device is attached, open up the appropriate app on your device, and it's going to scan your device. All right, you can see that I've added one account here. Mine just happens to be empty, but uh, you know the other user may already have some crypto in the account, or they're simply creating empty accounts in this new copy of Ledger Live. Um, go back to accounts, click Add Account for whatever other cryptos you want to manage on this secondary device in this second copy of Ledger Live. You'll have to open the appropriate app on your device in order to get this done. All right, and so there you go. Uh, I've managed to uh, set up a new copy of Ledger Live uh, on a separate device on the same computer. We just had to add a new user to our Microsoft accounts, uh, sign into that account, and install Ledger Live and get everything set up. All right. Now, once you've done this, the hard part's over. You'll be able to manage your crypto. I would suggest in this situation, uh, the secondary user should go ahead and add a password lock to their copy of Ledger Live. All right, so that uh, when you log out of Ledger Live and then uh, log back in, it's going to ask for a password. This way, uh, your roommate won't be able to log into your Microsoft account and check your balances, right? So for ultimate security, right, you want to enable password lock on uh, the Ledger Live that you're using. You should not reveal your Microsoft password uh, to the original owner of the uh, computer. Uh, but the, the original owner of the computer might need to uh, give you access to install programs. Right, because even though you're in a secondary account uh, on this uh, computer, the uh, main account is usually the admin. But I'm sure you guys can work it out with each other, right? When the secondary person is done using Ledger Live, uh, they can go ahead and log themselves out, right? Do a sign out, and uh, the main user of the computer will be back in business. So if you have any questions about anything I did, please throw them up in the comments and I'll do my best to get them answered. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you'd like to subscribe to my channel, I would appreciate it. When you subscribe, there's a little bell that you can click that will allow you to be alerted whenever I post new content. Once again, thanks for joining me and hope to see you again soon.